Slip form paving is a commonly used technique in concrete paving construction. Hi, my name is Jason Koss with Constructors Association of Western Pennsylvania. With a focus on safety awareness of job site hazards, this video will review the slip form paving process and the roles of key members on a paving crew. Two common pieces of equipment in the concrete paving process are the placer and slip form paver. The placer receives concrete from delivery trucks and places concrete in front of the paver. If the delivery truck can place the concrete directly in front of the paver, then the placer is not needed. Slip form pavers use augers or a plow to help spread the concrete evenly across the paving area. The concrete is struck off and the vibrators help consolidate the concrete. The paver passes over the concrete where it is formed and settled in place as the form moves ahead. It is then finished, textured, and a curing membrane is applied. Before we review the roles and responsibilities of personnel on a paving crew, there are certain safety considerations that everyone must be familiar with, including personal protective equipment, heavy equipment safety, slip trip and fall hazards, chemical burns from exposure to concrete, general site and traffic awareness, and manual material handling. All personnel involved with concrete paving must wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, which includes hard hats, sturdy work boots, high visibility clothing, and safety glasses. Gloves and hearing protection may be required depending on the specific operation or task. Prior to any paving operation, workers must be familiar with the location of the emergency stop button. Most emergency stop buttons are magnetic and should be tested and positioned near the hazard. Equipment must be inspected before use to verify it is in safe operating condition and that safety features such as lights and backup alarms are functioning properly. There are many moving parts with paving operations that can cause significant injury from pinch points, struck by hazards, and crush hazards. Stay focused on the task at hand and keep clear of these potential hazards. Avoid positioning yourself in a blind spot. While operators and drivers may have your safety in mind, it is impossible for them to see all the areas surrounding their equipment. Remember, if you can't see the operator, they can't see you. There are many slip, trip, and fall hazards present during paving work. Always watch your footing and be aware of the following hazards. Uneven surfaces, slick surfaces, rough terrain, tools and materials, and string lines. Exposure to wet concrete can cause chemical burns and therefore proper protection is necessary. If your skin does come into contact with concrete, wash it off as soon as possible with running water. If you sustain a chemical burn, report it to your supervisor so the burn can be treated. It is imperative that workers remain alert at all times and are aware of their surroundings. Paving work is typically performed next to or near live traffic. While barriers are in place to reduce this risk, workers must be attentive to traffic hazards to avoid accidentally stepping into traffic or another danger zone. In addition to traffic from the public, workers must also be aware of travel paths of delivery trucks as concrete is typically delivered at a high volume. Often trucks will need to back up to deliver concrete and workers must recognize that this will reduce the driver's visibility. Be aware of overhead utilities and other obstructions in your work area. If electrical lines are present, warning devices such as signs or flagging must be in place and adequate clearance must be maintained depending on the voltage. Before use, employees are responsible for inspecting their tools, equipment, and personal protective equipment to verify safe working condition. All defective tools and equipment must be removed from service immediately. Soft tissue injuries are one of the most common types of injuries in paving operations. These types of injuries can result from awkward postures, fixed postures, heavy lifting, and overexertion. Remember to change positions frequently, avoid poor posture, use proper lifting techniques, and take advantage of mechanical equipment to move heavy objects. 
Now we will cover the roles and responsibilities of key members on a concrete paving crew. Key members of a concrete paving crew are dump person, concrete technician, tie bar inserter, centerline bar inserter, cleanup laborers, finishers, spray cure applicator, paver operator, and placer operator. The dump person is responsible for guiding the concrete truck safely to the placer or paver for dumping. This crew member should signal from the driver's side of the truck unless an obstruction prevents him or her from maintaining a safe position. Stop the truck before it reaches the placer or paver to ensure the turnbuckles are removed from the tailgate. First, remove the turnbuckles from the opposite side of which you are signaling. Once the turnbuckles are off, drivers can proceed with backing up the truck to unload. Never walk behind an unsecured tailgate. After the load is discharged, the truck can be cleaned off and you should be prepared for the next incoming truck. Be aware, contact with moving augers can cause serious injury. During cleaning operations, the machine must be stopped and the auger shut off. A concrete technician performs various concrete tests before and during concrete placement. Prior to obtaining concrete samples in and around the machines, the technician must notify the equipment operator. Technicians must always be aware of moving parts and equipment, such as the conveyor, paver tracks, and delivery trucks. Some jobs require reinforcement bars to be inserted into the concrete slab. This task is typically job specific and performed by the tie bar inserter. Tie bars are inserted into the side of the concrete slab at its midpoint. Be cautious of body positioning. Always keep hands clear of the bar inserter while performing this task. Because this operation requires the inserter to be in close proximity of the tracks, always make sure the emergency stop button is within arm's reach. For wider lanes, a centerline reinforcement bar may be required. This task requires centerline bars to be inserted at the same spacing as tie bars. This is a computerized placement, however, the chain feeder must be loaded manually. When loading the centerline feeder, be mindful of hand placement and keep clear of the chain at all times. Cleanup laborers work on each side of the lane cleaning up excess concrete and assisting the finishers. Laborers will encounter many tripping hazards while performing this task, such as tie bars, dowel baskets, and uneven surfaces. They must also watch out for concrete delivery trucks and other job traffic. It is important to be mindful of tool handles as the finishers will be maneuvering tools back and forth across the concrete with the handles traveling beyond the edge of the slab. Finishers work behind the paver, fixing any blemishes that the paver may leave. Similar to laborers, finishers must watch for tripping hazards, such as tie bars and uneven surfaces. Finishers must also be aware of their tool handles to avoid accidental contact with personnel, delivery trucks, and other traffic. The spray cure applicator is in charge of placing spray cure to the concrete in a timely manner. They need to be mindful of wind direction before spraying the concrete to avoid having the cure blow in the direction of traffic, the public, or other unwanted surfaces. The paver operator is responsible for safe and efficient operation of the paver and performing daily safety checks of the equipment. The paver operator must be aware of his or her surroundings at all times and be prepared to stop the operation immediately if necessary. When concrete trucks are unable to reach the paver, the placer operator will place the concrete in front of the paver. The placer operator must be able to maintain constant communication with the dump person. The placer operator must be aware of the conveyor's swing radius. Also, overhead power lines must be located, identified, and avoided. Concrete slip form paving poses many hazards. Heavy equipment and delivery trucks, live traffic and moving machine parts can expose distracted workers to serious injury and possibly death. By paying attention to safe work practices discussed in this video, you can help improve safety, quality, and productivity in your workplace.